And the line says, get ready to be hungry. You don't have to tell me that. I'm sure some of you at home are the same. The dishes from our next guest are Caribbean inspired due to his roots growing up in Jamaica. And now he's bringing that flavor to the Big Apple in a big way. So joining us is Chef Wenford Simpson for Foodie Friday. Uh, I can't wait, Chef. We did a little mic check. Uh, Shannon, you weren't here. Chef and I talked about food, flavor, all of it. Um, Jamaica's one of my favorite places. Um, and Jamaican food, I just love it so much. I feel mm. like somewhere I need to get my DNA or something. I must have <laughs> some Jamaican. Hit me somewhere, Lost. Chef. Um, so welcome. Welcome to start your day. Today you're cooking coconut curry salmon. Um, is this one of your favorite dishes to cook? And if so, why? No, well, today what I'm going to be making today, I'm going to be doing it because I want to put a little bit of spice to it. So I'm doing the bourbon coconut salmon today, coconut curry salmon. That's what I'm mm. going to be doing today. So real simple, real easy because of the fact salmon is real good for the body. And a lot of people with the omega-3 fatty acid as is inside the salmon is real good. So all the ingredients I have right here, it's real simple. This is a dish that can be done in under five minutes, you can have a wonderful dish complete oh, under man. five minutes. All right, well, we want so, you to go ahead and get started uh, on how, that. How much do you like salmon? A lot. <laughs> how much do you like salmon? You enjoy salmon? Yes, sir. All in. Mm -hmm. All right, wonderful. So what we're going to do right now, I'm sprinkling a little bit of Obey season onto the salmon and a little bit of salt and mm -hmm. pepper, make it real nice. And then I'm going to go with a little bit of Cajun. I like to cook with a lot of Ooh. flavor because flavor, that's the thing about um, Jamaican cuisine. It's always flavorful and it's memorable. I don't like food to be yeah. bland, so I like flavor inside anything that I'm cooking. And I like to put my food to marinate it, preferably overnight. Oh, so that's the real key to get it this to is have those flavors. Yes, yes, looking real good. So right now with the salmon, you put the salmon to marinate. And then what I also like to do, I like to put my flavor in. I like to burn a little bit of the season from out of the, oh, wow. the season in so it can burn out a little bit of the flavor. Now, Chef, you have, the salmon you, you have a lot there, of seasonings there. You have everything lined up. Just yeah. go go down the list real quick so you don't have to do it while you're cooking because we have a lot more questions to ask you. Just run off all yes. the seasonings you have right there, and then we want to ask you some more questions. All right, so what we have here, we have red bell pepper, green bell pepper, we have scallion, we have garlic, and we have the Spanish onion, and we have some fresh thyme. My dry ingredients that I'm using, I'm using a little bit of obey season, Cajun season, and lemon pepper, and a little bit of salt and pepper. And then I'm also using a well, curry paste and a little bit of jerk flavor just to give it that spice. Now, Chef, I think it's so important, Chef. Because Shannon told me before the segment, just put Miss Dash on there. Do you just use Mrs. Dash? Look, I'm very basic. Have you heard of that, Chef? <laughs> oh, he has good. some. Does it take and all then, that? Yes, to create oh. a wonderful meal, okay. yes, it takes a lot of that. And the flavor, in making the food bland, what I'm using here, I'm using a curry case here, and I kind of rub the curry a little bit on it. Something like this you can put in your refrigerator and let it marinate. The next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take oh, the nice. salmon, put the salmon down, turn this up a little bit, and then while this is cooking, I'm now gonna start adding the rest of my ingredients. Okay, well while you're doing that, we wanna keep um, asking you some questions, Chef. <laughs> We want yes. to keep asking you some questions to get more to these Jamaican roots that you have, because I know when you're in Jamaica, you can't just eat anybody's food. So are you critical of other Jamaican-inspired dishes? You're like, that's not authentic. Because I've had your food at Negril <laughs> when I lived in New York. I've had Negril, and it was the bomb. Oh, yes, yes. I'm very critical, because some places you go, they try to make Jamaican cuisine, and even though mm. they're Jamaican, some of the dish that they make, you're like, nah, this is not the way jerk chicken is supposed to taste. <laughs> no, this is not oh, the wow. way curry chicken is supposed to taste. So at times, I go to places, I'm not one to complain, but I'm one to say, you know what, this is not the right way. I either come back another time or I don't go back. But this is the traditional way of cooking something. And the next thing I'm going to add to it, I'm going to tip a little bit of Appleton because I like to cook with a little bit of flavor. Give it a nice little buzz. Mm. 
And then I'm going to take a little bit of my sauce. Now what sauce is that? A special sauce right there. And this is going to help. This is a jerk sauce that you can easily well make or you can also get it at any one of or you okay. can make it at home. And you just want to allow this to cook for probably about four or five minutes. Salmon is supposed to be cooked nice and buttery. You know, it's supposed to be hard or dry. And then you should be good. Do you have to flip you it or just one side? Flavor. Just one side. I did flip it over to one side and then I finish it on the other side and just let it stay there and cook nice and slow. And you can serve it with either a baked potato or you can serve it with some rice or you can serve it with just some veg. I have already have one put aside and ready so you can see what the finish product look like right over here. See? Ooh. Well, it looks lovely, Chef, and I wish I could just take a bite. Right. This is really <laughs> torture for us. I really feel like you are spreading love. It's not just about food. You are inspiring and spreading love with your dishes. I know you have that new spot. Uh, it's a hot spot in Brooklyn, right? The, the Simpson Restaurant and Bar near the Barclay Center. Um, what's the first thing we should get off the menu there? Um, the jerk oxtail over the five cheese macaroni and cheese. Ooh, I love this oxtail. Is smart when I you... love oxtail. <laughs> Chef, don't do this to me. <laughs> don't do this to me. I'm going to have to get on it. I, I need to get to New York now because I was going to ask you about oxtail. I'm addicted. I love it so much, Chef. I just love it so much. I need you to promise you'll come back and make that for us, too. <laughs> Just most me, not Shane. <laughs> most definitely I will. This is after the games at Barclays. This is where all the NBA players, they come and hang out. It's the hottest spot right now in New York. We can seat up to 300 seated. Wow. So it's pretty big. It's almost yeah, it 7,000 square feet. Um, it's the hottest and the top restaurant right now. Wave. It's all about cooking with love. And there's a lot of Jamaican people in Brooklyn as well. What's the hardest part about pleasing New Yorkers? Because, you know, New Yorkers can be very picky in food snobs as well. Do you have any <laughs> issues there? You know, one other thing about pleasing New Yorkers, because the food here in New York, as you know, there's a different staple of different cuisine of um, nationality here. You have people from Trinidad, from Barbados from Jamaica, from India, you name it. This is a melting pot of so many different nationalities. So even from my well, restaurant, chef. I get a lot of critique from fellow Jamaicans more than I'll get from, oh. uh, from New Yorkers. Okay. Because everyone who come into your restaurant, they tell them, oh, my mama make the best this, my <laughs> grandmother make the best this. So that is some of the things. Yeah, you can they handle love it. the food here. Whenever they come and order a dish, they normally take one to go. Well, well, you can handle it, Chef. I mm -hmm. just, you know, I know we're out of time, Shan. I'm going to let you think about it. Chef, do you do wedding receptions there? Can, can I'd love to have my wedding reception there, Chef. Yes, we do. We have a private catering room, and we also do on-site okay. on and off-site catering. As a matter of fact, tomorrow, I have a 250-person wedding that I'm catering for. I'm kind of one of the Love top it. chef here in New York that cater for a lot of the celebrities. Of course you are. And one of the great thing is me coming from poverty. I'm coming from homeless. I'm coming mm. from sleeping on the street. So I'm yeah. coming from not knowing my dad. So for someone, I motivate and inspire well, all of the schools and colleges speak to kids about don't giving up on their career and their dreams. Wow, well, we're glad you did not give up wow. on your dreams because you are continuing to have success in New York, the hardest place to have a restaurant. So thank you, Chef Winford Simpson, for cooking for us today. Yeah. And, and Sharon, did you just deliver breaking news? You want to have your wedding reception well, no, there? <laughs> I, want the chef, I want the chef to give me the food for the wedding reception uh -huh. and supply the groom too. And then oh, we're in there we business, go. Okay. chef. I just need I was the fiance, about that part. a <laughs> ring, the food, and then I'll be all set. It'll be served oh, with love, gosh. chef.